Did I turn that way? Yeah, it worked. Okay. It worked? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Good. I'm just here deleting because I'm, remember I always run into trouble because um, I have too much saved on my machine. Yeah. But you have to delete out of IQ Designer. I have to open it up, press one, delete, okay. I just keep going and I have, I probably have 500 things saved there. So that would take me like half a day. Yeah. Yes. So I was just going to do it a little bit. And I'll just, See if it makes adjust, it change. Adjust your camera while okay. we wait for people to trickle in. Okay. Let's see. Right, like that. Okay. Okay. All right. So what, while we were sitting here today, we came up with two more ideas for IQ Designer, right? right? So we will never run out of ideas, we promise you. And we haven't even touched the surface or grazed the surface, what do they say? Uh, we haven't used every single feature yet. We're just having fun with the easy stuff, but uh, you know it's all turning out gorgeous too, isn't you it? You haven't even scratched the surface. The scratch the surface. We have not scratched the surface on what you could do in IQ Designer, and I'll tell you, I was never able to get right, get used to digitizing. I just I just couldn't get the hang of it. So, but IQ Designer, I can. So, this is the way digitizing should have been 10 years ago, because then we would all caught on easier. So here, I've got a little nativity, delete that. So for me, I delete anything, oops, we've already done, because we always gotta be showing them something new. And so, so that's what I like about this book, this Mastering IQ Designer. I think they said there's 21 different projects in here but it's like you take what they teach you and then you go and you do what your own thing with it which we are going to do today right let's scratch right. the surface we are scratching the surface of IQ, IQ designer and we're hoping this makes all of you enjoy your machines even more i know uh you know, I heard from so many people that it was so frustrating because they bought the machine because they knew it would do all these fancy things. And they were shown how, but they quickly forgot how. And and then they felt like, I shouldn't have bought it. I shouldn't have bought it. But now by tuning in here, please tell all your friends. We'd love to continue to grow. But uh, tell all your friends that own machines that have um, IQ Designer. So in the Baby Lock line, it is the Destiny, Altair, Meridian, and of course the Solaris. So I'm not sure what the names are. I know there's Luminaire and Brother, but you know, tune in. We want we want everyone to learn. So they spread this, and and we continue to grow. So that, that we would really appreciate it. So, okay. So today in IQ Designer, I saw this, and we have not used the motif stitches very much at all. And this cute little project, it's an ornament. Um, was on here and I thought let's do that that'll be quick and easy but what I thought and I'm just gonna lay my book over there I made mine real quick I didn't sew out joy but I wanted it to hold a gift card and PJ thought it looked fine just the way it is with the gift card sticking out but I, I think I would like mine a little bit bigger so we're gonna do it the way the book tells you to do it and then we're gonna do one a little bit bigger we are going to select a different motif stitch and we are going to select a different um, fancy fill. Maybe a fancy fill from one of these brand new collections. So, so we're, I'm still on the Christmas mode, so I'm thinking that I'm going to do the, uh, something from this one that has the pumpkin on the front because that is Halloween, Thanksgiving, Winter, and New Year's. So... Wait a minute. It doesn't even say Christmas, does it? It says Halloween, Thanksgiving, winter, and New Year's. Winter. 
<laughs> to winter. They're allowed to say Christmas. They are. Maybe they felt like they weren't allowed. Remember there was a big push where you, could, you weren't allowed to say Christmas. And then we thought, after we did it, we went, what are we doing? Like, we don't want to call it the holiday. We want to call it Christmas, right? Right. And we want, you know, if somebody makes something for Hanukkah, we want them to call it Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Yeah. So we, so we went back to saying Christmas. Yes. Winter covers Winter all your covers. bases, though. Yeah, I guess so, it does. So they didn't have to put everything. Because if they would put Christmas, they would have had to put Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all that. So maybe that was their thinking, yeah. But I'm going to open that one up, and we're going to pick something from it and make, make it a little bigger. But first, we're going to start out um, making it the exact directions as in the book. Okay. All right. Oh, well, we got a siren going by. That was a weird siren. It was weird. Oh, it wasn't a fire engine. Oh, that sounded was. like a spaceship. It probably was a spaceship. It probably yeah. was a spaceship. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. But first, the most important thing of the day is um, opening our present. Okay. So present number 22. Okay. I'm going to open it up. I know what it is, but I'm pretending like I don't. And you got and you got to save all your bags because as that so Maddie said she had thirty presents to wrap as of yesterday, and she somehow gets Tommy to wrap them with her. She does. Does Chelsea get you to wrap with her? Yeah. 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 I was doing it all myself. Yes. Okay. So anyhow, this is going to make your job easier. You're just going to take that number off and you're going to wrap somebody's present right in here, and you're going to be able to go to bed at midnight. Oh, what'd we get? So everybody got some patterns. Now, uh, all, everybody's are different, so you'll have to tell us what you got. But in this packet, there's October Sky, which I really like that one because, you know, sometimes you get a panel that's horizontal and you don't know what to do with it at all. And then this one is another one with a panel, and it's called On Key. And you take the panel, couple borders, and then you cut strips and put around. We're always wondering what we do with panels. And then here, this one is called Panama City. But everybody got different ones. Are they saying what they got or anything? And then some people got the peace tree patterns because we ran out of these and we didn't know what to do. So I think um, the peace tree patterns, they got two of those. But if you got a Villa Rosa, I think you got three of those. So, and you know, we're already planning for next year. I've already um, ordered <laughs> a couple things that we're going to try out. So we're very excited. We're going to make it even better for next year. Okay, so... Um, I'm just going to touch my screen to wake up my m machine, and I'm just going to go over, okay, what I didn't like about this is I had my white bobbin thread in, and when I went to turn it, I could see the white bobbin thread, so I think for a project like this where you're turning it, I'm going to match my bobbin thread to my top. So all I did was fill a bobbin with red, and then I'm going to thread my bobbin with the exact same thread that I'm using at the top. Okay, so whatever color you choose, so I'm going to take that white bobbin out. And I, I know Mary Lou said yesterday that she likes to use uh, the 60 weight in the bobbin when uh, she's matching, but I just use, I just wind mine right from the top spool and I do A-OK. -okay. So, okay, there I'm going to thread the bobbin with my matching thread, and then when I go to turn it, it's going to look nice. Okay. Now, um, you know, uh, in your book, um, they, they go over, so on the first page, okay, this is, this will be, okay, there's a bigger picture of it too. So on the first page, now look at this. They use their um, serger to make the strap. So I'm just going to use ribbon, but you can do that in the belt loop, and they had triple needle cover stitch, which is really cute. Okay, and all right, so the first thing that I like to do is I like to think about what I need to do, and, and I did not write those down, but what I need to do is, uh, there's batting, so first thing I need to do is have a placement line, so a circle, then I lay my batting down, then another circle, then I trim away my batting, then I lay my fabric on top, and then I need another circle to tack down the top. So one circle for 
uh, for placement line, one for tack down of the batting, and one for tack down of the fabric. Okay, then I want to um, fill it with a fancy fill, and then I want to go back in and put the no motif stitches in, and if I want, like they put joy in, but it'd be kind of cute to put uh, somebody's name on it and the year, right? Because then they remember what year we gave it to them. Okay, and so I, I mentioned that, where did ours go? That I felt like, like it was too big. To, my credit card was too big for the ornament. So I, I would like to make mine bigger, but PJ says his wife likes little things. So she would, she would like it little, yeah. And she wouldn't mind it hanging out the top. Now they didn't say put a, a, a uh, gift card in there, but I think this is the perfect way to give a gift card, right? right? So I still would like it a little bit bigger just cause I don't want the gift card to f fall out. But I guess you'd, you'd put it in a pouch. You'd put the ornament in one of your pouches that you got from our gift box, right? Yes, yeah, so, but I still, I want to make mine bigger. We're going to make it their exact size, and then we're going to go back. Okay, so the first thing is getting the image, okay? So I do have my notes here to remind you, and we're going to go so far, because I like to send the picture from, um, from my phone, and now they recommend scanning it. Uh, but then you'd have to make a copy of the page from the book. And I'm thinking most people don't, don't you know, their, their printer isn't set up. They might even not have a copier. So, so we're going to send a picture from our phone to the machine. So these are your notes. So do a screenshot. I know there's wonderful people out there that do the screenshots and then they post them on Facebook. So I'd, I'd appreciate it if you do that. I keep telling people keep asking me when um, different videos are, which PJ, show them that towel, the, the, the towel, because somebody came in today wondering when this was, and I don't remember, but I told her, just go to Facebook and tell them that you want to find the instructions for this, and she was a looking higher. a little higher. Yep. Okay, so yeah, they... Yeah. Um, so, but this was before we were doing YouTube. So we need to do projects like this over again. And, and so that we can post them on YouTube. So how many do you have on YouTube so far? Like How many videos? Yeah. Oh, there's like uh, s upper 60s. No. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You've been working hard. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's wonderful. Okay. So he's going to keep it all growing and everything. So, okay. So in your book, it starts out at page 65, okay? And uh, they tell you to find the page in the book. So you know in the back of your book are the, some of the images that they use. And this is the image. Now, in order to put this on my scan frame, I would have either had to take the page out of the book, which I never would want to do, and or I would have had to make a copy of it. So it's just so much easier to take a picture of it and send it from your phone. So I want to show you how to do that. So I'm going to bend back my book. And I think I'm just going to move my hoop because I think I could just do this from right here. Okay, and then, oh, my phone, that's right. I better have that beside me. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into photos. So right here, photos. And then I'm gonna take a picture. So I'm just positioning it over it and taking a picture. Okay, so you could do it that way. But look, it's like shading, it's dots in there, everything. Better is to go to the website at the bottom of this page. Okay, so I'll go to Safari. So that's like where your internet browser on your phone, Safari. And then you got to open up. Okay, let's see. So I, I go see. Safari. Mm -hmm. There, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. So you may have a zillion pages open, which I usually do. And so every once in a while, I'll go in and close them down because I, I find that I, my battery runs down so low and so fast that I think it's because I have so many things running on it, right? Okay, so they tell you right at the bottom of this page. Now, they say HTTPS. You don't have to put that in anymore. So it's just babylock.com. Babylock 
and I'm following along here, forward slash, and there's I, Q, then they have dash, so I gotta go back here, dash, so, oh, it's not finding it, do you see? I have two B's in baby lock. So I'm gonna go back, because usually by now, the website pops up. So baby lock. Is that it at the top? There it is, yes. yes you've, you've already typed it in. Yes, I did, and but I, I must have been months and months ago. So there, I already typed it in. So if it's your first time, you may have to type in the whole thing, but that's on page 210 of your book, Where to Go. So I already typed it in, so it came up. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look for that image. So a bunch of images are on here and they're crystal clear, so they're gonna be really easy to work with. So on your paper, I put click and hold with your thumb. So I go click there, see, I'm holding it down with my thumb. Then I go save to photos, save to photos. Now it's in my phone. Now we're gonna open IQ Intuition Positioning. So you get that in the App Store. Where's the App Store? Well, go to the very end where you see this. And um, so App Store, you're just gonna type in A-P-P, -P, and th there it is, App Store. I hardly ever go through here because I could never find my the icons. I can never find my pictures or, or what I want to use. I just can't find it. So here I need to go. I go to the very end and I go IQ, IQ, and there they are. So there's IQ intuition positioning, IQ intuition monitoring, and QVC. <laughs> yes. So don't, don't, don't go to QVC. You're going to go to IQ intuition positioning. So the monitoring is so you could be in another room and your machine, uh, the, your phone can tell you if your thread breaks or anything goes wrong. It can tell you when there's a color change needed. So IQition, intuition, positioning. Okay. Now the next step is you're going to select, select image for creating design. Select image. And then you select your image. So select, see the photo was all gray? And look at, the, see how many times I did it today. So I'm gonna take the last one that I put in. So select your image by touching it. And down at the bottom here, it says send to the machine. So send to the machine, send to IQ Designer, okay. And then we'll go to IQ Designer. So now, Open IQ Designer on your machine. That was my step one. Open IQ Designer. The leaf, so this is the leaf with the arrow pointing out. And I'm gonna switch to using a mouse. Uh, for one thing, I feel like I have more control. Now, I, I meant to do this earlier. I, I have the screen that has the red plus in the middle. And I guess that helps me see that that something is in the center. Well, I'm gonna leave it on there, but if it, we find that gets in our way, I could just go up to settings and change to nothing on the screen. Okay, so open IQ Designer, then press the leaf with the arrow pointing out, line design, Wi-Fi, because that's how you send it, Wi-Fi. The last image sent, which will be the one at the top, just click it and wait. And you'll have to, you might have to wait a while because these images are really big. They're like one megabyte each. Okay, uh, set it. So you, when you see that it's the right one, press set. And that's another one. I clicked and I had to wait like five seconds for the machine to make a sound. So just click it once and wait. Then you're, then you're gonna start with step six on page 65 of your Mastering IQ Designer book. And um, I, I don't I don't send out these directions because you know people put a lot of time into creating these directions and um, it's their job so they don't you know, I don't want to give away all their secrets but I'm gonna follow along with the book but you really if you own this machine you need to get that book you do so I know it's expensive but you, know, you have to think of um, a lot of people contributed to it. It was uh, created here in the United States by uh, educators from all over the United States. 
and um, and they don't print up, you know, like when when a book comes out or a magazine comes out, they print up five hundred thousand. They probably print a thousand at a time, or maybe two thousand, and so that's why they end up costing more. But well worth it, definitely. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm on step six. Crop the image close to, but not touching the outer four edges. And I have a hard time with this, so I'll show you. So I'm gonna click on this red arrow up at the upper left and bring it in. If there's like a delayed reaction, you move your mouse and just move it a little bit at a time. Cause you say, oh, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good on the side here. But the top, I wanna bring that closer. I'm just, oh, I'm coming too close on the left, okay. Think, try to get it, they said, as close as you can without touching. So I'm going to be happy there. Okay, then click on the bottom right and do the same thing. You got to get in close because that's what, that's what determines the size. So if I left this square big, then I tried it. It didn't just see just the ornament. I had, I had left a six inch by six inch box around it. And so you know, the numbers that they give you in your book won't correspond. So I think I'm pretty good. So see how I'm close? I'm very close, but not touching. Then touch OK and set. Your image is always going to be good if you do it that way. Now we're going to turn to page 66. And OK. Now I add a step to theirs. And um, that's because I like to trim away my excess batting. Um, so I like to tack down my batting separate from the top fabric. So select the size key, decrease the pattern proportionately until size is approximately 3.5 by 3.75. So I, oh, how come, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, here. It's this one, the button with the four arrows pointing in. And I'm just going to quit at three point when one of those numbers hits 3.75. And I guess they just want us, they, they wanted us to use a four by four hoop. I decided to use a five by seven because then I could adjust the size. So I'm using a five by seven hoop. So in your book, they want you to use a four by four. So that's why they want your largest dimension to be 3.75 because it's, it's, you know, I always like to make my designs a quarter inch smaller than my hoop. So three point, mine ended up 3.75 by 3.71 and then move the image to center. So you go down here to the arrow buttons at the bottom and press that one in the middle with the dot and that puts your image in the center. Now, save the design to memory. So, okay, memory, save on the machine. Okay, now uh, open the line properties menu. So this is line properties. So it looks like a piece of paper and there's a line underneath. Now down below, there's a piece of paper and a filled in block. So this is fill properties. This one is line properties. So we are line properties is you tell it how you want it to sew those lines. Fill properties is how you want to fill an area. Okay, so line properties. And we're going to select running stitch. It's to the right of the zigzag. So running stitch, then red and OK. I'm going to fix your mic because it just like flipped around. Oh, to the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, there probably because. Okay. okay, now it's on my phone, but that's good, right? That's all right. OK, all right. All right. So now, you know, it's going to get you kind of mixed up here. Well, I'm going to drink my Pepsi right here. OK. See, I talk too much. <laughs> okay, and that's it. I thought something was wrong with me, really. But as soon as I started taking a drink and never I got, it went away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there, so, uh, so we're gonna go memory, save on the machine. I may have already done that, but it won't matter if I do it again. Okay, so then we're going to activate the line fill tool. Now this is, see me, I just call that line bucket. So line bucket, 
and then you're going to click on the outer line to turn it red. Okay, then we are going to go to the eraser icon, which is, we're on step 13. I think I'm going to hold this a little closer to me. Okay, step 13, and we're going to click on the eraser. Now, they tell you to enlarge your eraser to 40, which let's do what they say and just see what happens. So, we're going to uh, uh, enlarge it to 40, then plus and up to 40, and then you're to erase the inner lines. Now, me, that background image is getting me all mixed up. Where's the line? Where isn't it? So, go up to the top and get rid of your background image and by just clicking uh, the leaf on the left and that eliminates it. If I click the leaf on the right, that darkens my background image so I can make it really dark. I can go all the way down and get rid of it. Okay, so they want me to erase it and I, I need to zoom in. So we're going to go up to the upper left and I'm going to go to 400. Oh no, too big. So I'll have to go to 200 and then I'm going to click down. Now remember my eraser is 40, so it's kind of big. I never go that big, but whoever planned this project likes it big. But I feel like I'm going to bump into something. So all you do if you want to change your the size of your eraser is you click on the eraser. And I'm just going to bring mine down a little bit. Now I'm at 31, and that's a little better for me. So it just depends on the person. That, this person who designed this one, I wonder if they gave the name of the person who did it. Lori Hernandez. We love Lori. Lori does the Serger, that Serger Club. Uh, you become a member and every month she teaches you some creative techniques on your Serger. So um, it's Serger, Serge Fun Club, it's, it's called. Yes. We'll, we'll show you that at one of these shows because it's really good. And Lori is a very, very good teacher too. Okay. Anyhow. Okay. So we erased. That was line 13. S select. So we'll say OK when we're done erasing. Then select Next. Now they, I always say, I don't worry about the stitch length. But she increased her stitch length to, it, it says 2.5 or 0 0.100. So we're going to go, we'll plus up oh, to where Lori has hers. And she says that is a 2.5 stitch length. And press OK. Save to the memory of the machine. So this is going to be the red circle on your machine. So memory save on the machine and we're still in iq designer so that's going to be in iq designer now touch um go set okay let me see it's press where am i touch memory oh then press set and okay so that was step 16. touch add so there's our placement line for our batting so add iq designer and then you are going to uh, retrieve the circle only line design. So to retrieve something, you press the pocket with the arrow pointing out. And then you find your red circle. And I've been erasing and erasing because mine are hard to find. And I got to find out why. Okay, so there. So I've done it more than once. So this one is 340, that one is 060, 160, I'm thinking this is the last one I put in right here. So 340, because it's the highest number. So OK. So we retrieved it uh, just by pressing the pocket with the arrow pointing out and selecting it. Hopefully you'll only have one. And then we're going to touch next. Remember, you already assigned a color to it. You assigned red. And remember, red was straight stitch. So we don't have to tell it anything. It's already, when, it's, when the machine, it knows that when you select this, you wanted straight stitch. So that's why the straight stitch is here. Okay, now we are going to touch OK 
That's okay. So, uh oh, no, no, no. Nope, I should have gone back. So, return. So, step 19, we're going to go to the line property icon and we're going to assign green to this one and touch OK. And then line bucket and touch the line to turn it green. Okay, then next. And then set and OK. Uh oh, look at mine. Uh oh. So I guess green, I forgot to tell it. Okay, so let's go return. So I should be in line properties. There we are. Assign the green color, straight stitch green color. OK. Then next. And it's still there. I better go back again and see what I'm doing wrong. So straight, I'm going to click it again. Maybe it was a different shade of green. So I'm going to go straight stitch, green. Oh, green here. OK. The bucket. Click on the line to turn it green. And then next. So I just didn't do all my steps. OK. Set and OK to return to the embroidery menu. So right now I have a red circle, that'll be my placement line. I have a green circle and my placement line, but look at this, they are not one on top of the other. And I don't see that she has those instructions. So what you want to do is go edit, move, center, select down at the bottom, select the other circle, center. Now they're one on top of the other. Okay, then okay. Now they want you to now go in and fill it. Now I do it different. So I like to do a placement line for my batting. Then I tack down my batting. Then I trim away the batting. Then I tack down the fabric. So I do those in two different steps because I don't like the batting to be in the seam allowance because then it, it makes it hard to turn. It's like hard enough to turn. I, I decided, see the, the card fell out. Mm. We, yeah, we got to tuck it in there farther, but it's hard enough to turn. Um, I put velvet on the front and velvet on the back and I think that was my problem. My seam allowance was too thick. So this time I'm going to try it with the fabric on the back. Okay, so I need one more circle in the way that I do it. So I'm going to go, I'm in edit, okay, because the edit is highlighted. So if you're like that, that's, you don't want to be there. You want to click on edit and you're going to press copy. It's right below rotate and it shows a solid square and a dotted square. So copy, oh, it's not in the center. So how do we do that? We went to move, center. And I just always double check them anyhow. I can see reds and greens on top of each other. So I want all three on top of each other. So OK. So let's check edit now. Now you have three circles. So we're good. Tack, pack, placement line, tack down of the batting, gives you a chance to trim away the excess batting, and then tack down of your fabric. What do we need to do next? Fancy fill. OK, so we're getting to the fun part. Okay, so add IQ designer. Okay, so I'm going to make sure. Okay, so we need the circle only line design. So pocket with the arrow pointing out. That's step 22. And then I got to find that circle again. I remember we said it was 340. So let me see. There it is. So there's the circle without. Um, without uh, the lines in the center, the circle only, then OK. Open the line properties menu. So it's right up here. Line properties. Select no sew. We don't want to sew that circle again. So no sew. OK. Line bucket. Click on the line and it will turn it gray, and you can see the gray symbol in the window there, and it means you don't want it to sew out. Now we're gonna fill it. So fill properties down below with the filled block behind it. So fill properties, 
And then they went to um, your fancy fills, which is the circle button, and then select. She, she chose 006, which is a good one because it sews out really fast. So if you decide you want to make 10 of these in an afternoon, this one is a really good one to select. So we're going to select the same one she did. And then we I want to do it again one more time, bigger and with a fan, really neat fancy fill. So 006, that's step 25. OK. Select red and OK. Then the Fill tool, so activate the region fill tool, which I call it fill bucket. So click on the fill bucket and click inside the circle to fill it. Okay, now she must have looked at it and said, oh, that's looking kind of big. So let's click on next, step 28. And she recommended going down to 75. So let's look at it and we'll go down to 75 and okay. It there, it does look a lot better, but you know how to play with that. So if you say, oh, I think that's, I, I, I need to get 15 done in an hour, I, then you might want to go bigger, you know, and then it will sew out faster. So you decide how big you want it. Okay, so I'm going to do what Lori did and go 75%, then touch set and okay. So there I've got my fancy fill. All right, now what do we need next? We need to sew the back to the front. Okay, now we could easily do that from here by clicking on the circle up above and then copying it and then would have one more circle. And that's, oh, but, okay, no, no, no. It isn't the back to the front. We have to add the motif stitch. Okay, so here, step 30. We're going to add IQ Designer. Retrieve from memory the circle with the arcs. So the pocket with the arrow pointing out. And now we're going to look for the, from the memory. I hope I put it in memory. There. I want, well, I'm using a different one. I don't know what one it is. We're just going to get the it. Higher number, right? The higher number, the highest number. Zero, three, zero. Here, one, four, zero. This has to be it. One, four, zero. So that's why they put these numbers on. Okay, then, okay. Okay, then we are going to open the line properties menu. Select no sew. We don't want it to sew out that circle again. And then, okay. And then we're going to go no sew, click on it to no sew. Oops, I didn't put bu line bucket, line bucket. And I'm just going to click on it again to make sure I did it. Yeah, I did. So when you get that error message, you know you already did it. Okay. And then activate the line fill tool. So here's my line fill. So then, and I just call it line properties or fill properties because using the word fill, line fill, it's like, am I doing lines or am I doing fill? So I just say line properties because that's what it says right up here. Okay, so then we're going to go to the specialty line menu, which is these little flowers. Specialty line menu, select and choose 005, there's 005, and OK. So select the yellow color, and I was afraid this light yellow I wouldn't see, so I went with a brighter yellow. Yellow color, OK, then touch both arcs, so I'm, make sure I have the fill bucket activated, and touch both of those arcs to tell it we wanted to do uh, this, I call that the pom-pom stitch. Touch next. Okay, I want to change both at the same time, so I am going to press link. Now, PJ, I am going to zoom in here mm -hmm. so they can see, because where I got stuck 
was, look at my pom poms are going down on this one and up on that one. Mm -hmm. And I kept trying to change it. But when you get to the next screen, they'll be in the right direction. So don't worry about that for now. So here I am at 200 and it's telling me, uh, link them together. So see, see if they're not linked, it only has a box around one of them. And if they're linked together, there's a red box around both. Okay, and just the spacing. So down here is the spacing and to 1.5 millimeters. So she wanted them a little farther apart. So here I'm going to hold it great. Oh, 0 0.060. I'm on metric. So I'm like way too far apart. So 0 0.060. Oop, went past it. There. Touch OK. Now, uh, while you're here, where did my little ornament go? Right here. Okay, so now I, I thought maybe I missed it, but um, if I put it here, PJ, can they see mm -hmm. it? Like my pom poms don't look as good as hers. So I think um, I don't see this step here, but I think you need to make your pom poms a little bit bigger. So take a look at that one and then let me hold up the picture from the book. And you can see just hold it. hers is, oh, yeah, just that, right that's there. Good. Mm -hmm. That's good. So see, her pom-poms are bigger than mine. So I think she must have made hers bigger. Okay, so spacing was 0, 060. Zero. Okay. On the Solaris, it, it changes it right here. And then, um, so for the size, I think I would make them a little bit bigger. So here it is at the default. How do I know it's default or the machine setting? It's because it's black behind it. And I'm just going to go a little bit bigger. I don't know. I'll just go th three clicks and then OK. And so now my pom-poms are going to be a little bit bigger. But see, I still have one going in one direction, one in the other. But now let's press set. OK, so I'm going to touch so we we touched okay set and okay okay oh no oh no look at that they aren't they are look at this hmm. so why is mine doing that okay so there no no good one pom poms going in one direction one in the other so what i do i didn't save what i did so i can't go back and fix it so I need to erase this and go back again and do that step again. So I'm going to click over here on the right, okay, delete it, okay, and now I'm back and now I go add IQ designer and I'm going back to, I got to make sure I am going back to uh, number 31, retrieve from memory the circle design with the arcs. So there, I thought I didn't need to change that, but we're going to find it. So we have to find the one that's in my memory that's at the highest number. Okay, so I got... Gloria, the bottom icon is where you can switch directions. Yes, okay. yes. I'm going to show them that. Yeah. So here's 140, okay. Or, or was it, it wasn't in embroidery, right? Oh, maybe it was. Is she saying it was an embroidery? We'll check that when we get back to embroidery. Okay, so there I am at 140. Okay, the first thing we did is we went to line properties, no so, okay, line bucket, click the circle so that it doesn't sew it, then line properties again, the flower, select, the pom poms, okay. And let me see, they said pom-poms, okay, five, okay, yellow. So I'm going to go with darker yellow so you can see. And then okay, touch both lines. So I'm, I've got my line bucket. It's light blue behind it, so I know it's activated. I'm going to touch both of those. Okay, touch next. So here's the screen I know to change it. Okay. So here she went uh, for your spacing. So that's the bottom one where it's zero. And she went up to 0 0.060. Okay. And then I took the other one. Oh, I didn't link it. Link. Then here. And then 
zero six zero. Oh no, that's size. Oh goodness, I'm really throwing you off. Okay, so here is the spacing, and then plus that one up to zero six zero with red boxes around both. I'm good now. And now I'm going to go up to size, and I'm just going to click it up just a couple clicks, and then OK. Now, are my pom-poms going in the wrong direction? Yes. So I need to unlink them. So unlink, and then I'm going to click on this bottom one, and then press this button, and flip it. Now look, it doesn't do it here. So you say, but I'm going to say, okay, let's look there. Now they're both pointing down. There you go. Okay. So we're good. We're Melba, good now. Is that Melba, where she meant? Melba says you can do it in IQ as well. Well, that's in IQ, but maybe she meant in embroidery. So All we right, will check mm -hmm. that. So I'll go set. Okay. Mm -hmm. There they are. Now I got thrown off. She did not tell you to put this in center. And I think that's because she wanted to leave extra room at the top to put a name. And uh, she put joy, but uh, so, right? So, retrieve, okay, so link icon, touch, memory, circle design, the arcs. If you would like to add text, yeah. So, she didn't tell you to center this. And see how, um, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Mm -hmm. So see how these are down a little bit? And so the first time I did it, but what I didn't like, like see how, okay, now this is getting really picky though. So if I go to 400 and I pan over, see how that's not meeting the side? Mm -hmm. And then, so that's why I centered it. So let's stay that big right there. And let's go edit, move, center. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> let's, so let's go, okay, undo. Let's go back. Let's leave it the way Lori did it. Oh, no, because look at one of my pom-poms is hanging off. Let's just look. I'll just go, I'll go down to 200. So it's all on the screen. Pan, I'll pan to the middle. I guess don't worry about it. It'll be in the seam allowance and we won't worry about it. But doesn't it look like I should? It does. I'm going to go move. And I'm just going to move it this way just a little bit. And maybe I'll just move it up. Now, see, I'm not meeting here. So take a look. Maybe, maybe I should have just listened to her and kept the size the same. I don't, well, I'm just going to live with it there. That little pom-pom's going to get lost in the seam allowance. But that's okay. All right, now, okay. Now, if you want to add lettering. So add IQ design, add, don't go to IQ designer, go to the lettering. Now, now she is on uh, the next page, which is page, what is it? It is page 67, and we selected the fonts, and she selected font number 17, which I also love. So 17, okay, PJ, let's put Avery's name on it. Okay, okay? all right. So we're going to select the A, and, look, and she likes you to go to medium size. That might be still too big, but we're going to do it. So let's zoom in so you can see better. There I am at 150. That's it, seeing a little bit better. Uh, let's go to 200 because then we can see even better. There. Okay. So A. So I think I would do it the rest in lowercase. She did the whole name in uppercase. So A V E R I E. Okay. Now we need to move it, but we're going to set it first and then edit, move. And do use our up arrow to move it. Now, is it going to fit? I think I'd like it a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. So say, OK, size, and reduce the size. So use your four arrows pointing in, and we'll just make it a little smaller. That would look good arced, wouldn't it? So let's do it. So OK. Then we are going to go to not where is it size not in size no 
Somebody will tell me, move, rotate. I want to arc. I guess I have to do that. I have to do that back in the lettering screen. Oh, text. Here, right here. Edit your text. So text. Okay. Now, array. So at the bottom, choose array. And I want it to arc up. So let's go this one right here. Oh, it spaced it too far apart, didn't it? Okay, but we can change the spacing. But let's go in and zoom in and check the... Oh, oh it's not let me... So I got the arc. So I guess I have to judge it from here. See, that's why that yellow, you can't see it. So I'm thinking I could change the arc here. So let's say I wanted the arc a little bit smaller. So let's go here. Is that making it's it making it more making it more of an arc? So let's go the other way and see. Really, it's just the spacing is off. So let's say okay, and then spacing down at the bottom, and let's bring them a little closer together. Let's see if it'll let me zoom in. No, so I have to okay, then go in to zoom. And go into 200% and there. So it's too close to the edge. Let's go spacing. And there's plenty of space in between. So let's bring that spacing in even farther. Oop. So I'm just clicking on this until... I'm thinking I don't want it to roll around. So I want to bring those letters in even closer. They're not even close to touching. Let's see. I'm going to go even a little bit closer together. Now, you know how I like my letters really dense. So I am, I, I'm feeling good now. Maybe just a little. So nothing's touching. I think I'm good there. Okay. So here, okay. Now, here's another thing that, that we can change. So let's set the letters. Okay. Oh, no. So click on Avery. I want to change the density. Mm, so let's go back into edit. Density. So there I selected the letters and I just like to increase it. I'm just going to go up a little bit to 105 and then OK. Then embroidery and I'm ready to sew. All right. We are ready to sew. We're going to save, save this. But I also, um, I would like to show them how to make it bigger. Do you think I, I always have a million things I want to show them. But maybe we could sew it real quick while we show them products. So um, uh, Common Sold always likes to use their platform. They want us to sell stuff. And we love to sell. We love to sell stuff. So, okay. So what I have first, I might as well show them the steps. So remember, I do have my red thread in the bobbin. I have my just no-show in my hoop. And I'm going to slide it in. Okay. And there is, it's going to first do the placement line. So we're just going to start to sew. And then I have some batting. So if I only had a 4x4 four four hoop in, this had been the perfect size. Since I like to do everything bigger. Now, uh, Lori had us go to a 2.5 stitch length. Remember, I never adjust that. So it might be that she wanted it to sew out faster. So now I've got another circle. So it's going to be my tack down, down for my batting. So I'm going to lay some of my gypsy quilter embroidery batting down. What I like about the embroidery batting is it's got the scrim in it, which is polyester, which means you cannot put it in the microwave, but it also is more stable. It doesn't stretch. And then I am going to grab my, here they are. So I really like the mini duck bill. Did you bring up a pair of the mini duck? Oh, we'll, we'll show them that one. I don't, you know, I, I use them like every week and this week I couldn't find them. And 
So there, I'm just going to slide my hoop out and leave it right here. I want it always flat on a table. And I like using the applique scissors because like my squeezy snips get, jab the batting and get caught in the batting. So the, and the duck bill, you just kind of turn it a little bit and it holds that no-show away. So if I use my squeezy snips, I could snip the no-show and make a hole in it. So I'm just trying to get as close as I can to the batting. The l closer you get, the easier it's going to be to turn it. So this is a quick, easy little project. And you can have fun changing to different fancy fills. Okay, so now I've got another circle. And there. And I just notice it look like my thread's about to come out of my needle, so I'll just, I'll just re-thread. I pulled it out and re-thread. Okay, now I'm going to lay down the velveteen. So, and I was worried about, you know, it looks like a wrinkle. I was going to go iron it. Now remember, you have nap on your velveteen, so this is smooth going down. And then, so usually the darker, and I like the red darker, so the red darker, it means when you move your finger down, it feels rough. So that'll be the darker. And then I'm going to stitch again and just stitch right around. So it feels like this is laying nice and flat, but I usually would just keep my fingers there. So I don't have to trim this. I can trim this at the very end. So start out with your red thread. Lori did um, use red on red for her fancy fill. Okay, so it's ready for my fancy fill. And I want you to watch this one because it fills really fast. So, so if you need to make a bunch of these, it would be really cute, right? Question, is there, is there a separate step for the back piece? Um, well, it'll be a circle. So a circle. circle, that's all it is. I know, it seems too simple, doesn't it? Don't you love the fancy fill on the velveteen? I know we do. We, if you want to buy velveteen, because we're now starting to think Valentine's Day. So uh, a velveteen little purse, you know, our uh, this purse, hopefully they could see that. That in a red velveteen would be so cute for Valentine's Day. And uh, the fancy fills so out really nice. And that's the Kelly bag. Yeah, that's know. the Kelly bag. Yeah. And we have more kits. So. so I think I'll feature it again because this fancy fill, so this one, this design suite has Valentine's Day. So wouldn't that purse be really cute with a Valentine's Day fancy fill? So when we, um, when we show them the fancy fills, I want to show them, I'll, I'll have a circle up there and we'll fill uh, the, the circle with some of these new fancy fills. Because I want them, it, the only way you can really see what you get in these packages is by um, looking on your machine. Okay, so now it's ready to do the uh, little pom-poms. And I'm going to do that in white. I'm dangerously low on white, but I think it's going to be enough. Okay. Oh, but I have red in the bobbin. I think it's going to be okay. I think it is. So, because even if it pulled up a, a like a dot of the red, it's not going to show because it'll be a red background. Because I want red and red on in when I sew the back to the front. Mm -hmm. So someone said they do want to see it bigger. Bigger. Okay, we got to do it. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. I think it will so. only take a minute. Okay. It will. Once we've done it a couple times, it'll be really. Shop. You got to go shopping. Yeah, I want to go shopping. I just want to, like, I don't know. I re really and truly, uh, the setting up the Gloriaville Village here yeah. put me in the Christmas mood, and so I'm I'm fine. I'm fine, but I haven't been shopping. <laughs> I haven't. 
So, and you have to go. Oh, do you have to go shopping? He already got a bunch of things, he said. I yes. think I'm good. You think you're good? I haven't opened the Amazon packages yeah. or any of the packages. Yeah. And I forget what I got. Okay. Now, remember, you have Saturday and Sunday. Sunday morning, let's say. Well, most stores aren't open Sunday morning. I still don't feel like I've got my pom-poms as good as hers. So, so I just, I, I don't know. My, my little balls don't, maybe because I'm on velvet. Was she on velvet? Yeah, somebody mentioned that. that yeah. Maybe the vel it's velvet, the velvet, so it sinks. Velvet, yeah, yeah, that's probably it. So my pom-poms sunk into the velvet, which she didn't, she used regular woven fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I really like velveteen. Okay, so we're gonna do it bigger. So we, we are gonna place our ribbon at the same time. So we still got white in, so we're gonna put Avery's name on. Okay, there. Well, now I have to get a gift certificate for Avery. <laughs> yes, Avery's 10 what months is she, old. What is she gonna buy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is her first Christmas. Yeah, it is her first Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, she's the sweetest baby ever, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I ordered something for her at um, Pottery Barn. Don't give Kids. it away. Chelsea's probably okay. watching. Okay, well, I ordered something for her, and I thought, when's it coming? When's it coming? And I checked back in my email, and I guess I got an email from the company. I was supposed to confirm my order. And that's what happened to me too. I did put, it happen to you with put something? things in my cart and forgot to hit? Yeah, well, buy. no, I, I ordered it, but I they sent me an email to confirm my confirm. order. Yeah. And they even put in there if you don't confirm within three days, we're going to cancel your order. Yeah, and that's they weird. canceled my order. Yeah. So I'm going to order it again. She, she's going to get a Christmas present like mid January, that's all. She won't know. <laughs> <laughs> she won't know the difference. No. We'll tell her it's Christmas again. Yeah, Christmas again. Christmas is all new when you have kids, right? It's like the ornaments on the tree and the lights. And where do you take her to see Santa? Did you take her to see Santa? No. Do you think she'd be scared? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, little James, Kathy took him to see Santa. Would you ever think James would be scared? He was terrified. James. James. James loves yeah. everyone. Yes, he does. Not he Santa. does. Right, not Santa. He didn't like Santa. Uh uh. Oh, it's looking cute, isn't it? Okay, so I do have my ribbon ready. It's not the right width, but this was the only thing I had handy. Do you I wasn't any deals sure. on sergers if they wanted yes. to do it with a serger. Oh, they could make an ornament with a serger. Well, we at least a ribbon, like you mentioned. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, okay, so the top of the line Triumph serger will do, will make the belt loops. So it's it makes belt loops, but we use belt, the, we keep our belt loop really long. And we use the cover stitch to stitch it. And you could use it for purse straps, everything. It makes them really easy. So Joni and I can show that tomorrow. The Triumph. Because we did show, yeah, we'll show the Triumph. But um, uh, you, you, can, uh, you can just run a chain stitch mm -hmm. on the serger. So that's what we got to do. We got to show them how you would make a loop for an ornament on the serger. Will you remember it? Yeah. Okay, because I won't Triumph remember. Triumph and Victory. I yeah, think you should do it yeah. on both. Uh, both Triumph and Victory and maybe, yeah, maybe even um, the s Celebrate. So if somebody's new to sergers, now I'm going to position my loop. Now remember, it's I don't want to get it sewn down. So I'm going to just put, gonna put it here. And so there's no way my stitching will will catch it, and I'm gonna tape it up here. Okay, so tape it in place, and only long enough. Oh, I don't know whether I'm in center or not. So I think I'm a little off center. Can't have her first ornament be off center, right? So I'm gonna go here. Well, you tape already got her an ornament, and it's on the tree already. What is? Kate May. Oh, really? Aww. 
That's it. We're we're starting. The kids just, uh, our whole family just loves Kate May. Now, so they, she had you turn under just a quarter inch. I turned under farther because it was just easier for me to, to do that. And you have to have right sides together. So you kind of get mixed up and you, you like would more than likely go like that. But then, no, you have to have right sides together. And then you have to create a pocket. So I wanted this one down first okay and i wanted it up a little higher so you'll do the the same thing when you do the bigger one so up a little higher and then i have the other one no that's not right i want this one down first right this one down first yes because that's going to be the pocket so i want it to end up like this not not like that Okay, so I put the top, what did I do? I put the top down, let's, let's, mm. what? I did, I did, I did the top first. Oh, we'll see if I do it wrong. But check and see their comments if I'm doing it right. Usually somebody catches me. Yes. Am I doing that right? So there, if I go like that, and I turn it, no, that's not going to work. So I got to put this pocket down first and up a little higher. And then this one down on top. And I'm just kind of matching up where, right where it's in order to put it down straight. Top first. The, the top one first. And Carla we'll, says top first. Let's top first. We'll do, we'll do what they say. Who says that? Carla. Carla. Okay, mm -hmm. Carla. We're going. Carla. <laughs> yes. Jennifer also agrees. Jennifer agrees. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. I need all the help I can get. Okay. First down. Bottom first. Yeah. It's split. Carol so let, let's see what I did here. Bottom. Let's turn it. I don't know. We got to We got to turn this one right side out. I forget. I should write these things down because I'm so forgetful. But okay. So when we oh, tuck that back in. So this. One okay, the loop is up there. I put the bottom down first, hmm. and that that worked out. So we got to go bottom down first, up kind of high, and then this one. The you know, first time I did it, it made perfect sense, and I don't know why this time when I do it. Okay, but okay, where is it gonna sew? I don't know. So let's go. Okay, let's go plus minus on our screen, and plus up to the first stitch. I'm safe. Okay, I'm safe, only that. It feels like I'm crooked, though. Now, there we go. So, okay. So, I'm saying I'm, I, I'm safe because it's going to start up there. It's not going to sew down here. But it's going to go in this direction, I bet, and get caught under, and it's going to be a mess. So, I'm feeling with my finger. I'm taking some of my tape. And now those of you that ordered the Kimber Bell paper tape dispenser uh red the cranberry stars they're they're almost here so i really so people think that's like christmasy looking but you can have red all year round see now i'm safe for a little while but i better stop it okay get another piece of tape and feel because it's going to come under there and it's going to crash so i'm feeling with my finger where it's going to sew, and then start. Am I getting a, no, for a second there I thought I was getting a pleat, maybe I did. I should have held on to it. Yeah, I always mean to slow down my speed when I go here. So I'm going to get a pair of pinking shears out, and... Hopefully mine are here. There is a pair. Okay, Famore pinky shears. So, okay. So I'll just pop it out of the hoop. And then real quick, we'll show them doing another one. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, because you, you still have to go shopping. No, you have to go I shopping. I have to go shopping. Mine's just for fun. 
but I want to fill Christmas stockings. Every year I want to fill Christmas stockings because I love, that's like my favorite part is the Christmas stockings. And every year I forget. So, or I just don't have, I run out of time. I say if you're in retail, Christmas should be January 25th. But there should be a law. So I'm using my pinking shears because that kind of clips it as you're snipping. So I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch. So normally you would have to clip this in order for it to turn. But if you use your pinking shears, now look at all these layers and I'm still, these Fomori pinking shears are still going around. So like we said, we have, I, we have two ideas. We have the embossed towels. Oh, what am I doing there? Um, and then we have making little baskets in IQ Designer. So I don't know. We, we just will never run out of ideas. Okay, so now to turn it. I'm a little worried there, but I'm trying to turn it in the wrong spot. So there. And then get that one. And I have my turning tool over here. And then I'll go to the iron and press it. But I think we can kind of finger press it. So here I'll get the get my turning tool to poke out that seam. Oh, and what didn't I do? Look it. I didn't go back to red thread on the top. So you remember to go back to red thread. There. Okay. So that it was correct, but boy, I did not leave too much width. Oh, I'm okay. That's but perfect. still, it's still too small. But I'll I'll go I'll go to my iron and press it and press out these sides. And Avery has Oh, have her first Christmas or No, she already has one. She has one from Kate May. You Does it say baby's first Christmas on it? Um, oh, you know, can you imagine? Remember. She is the first boy, first girl, girl on um, her, her mother's side. So there's been four boys. And there's one on the way. And there's another boy on the way. She is the only girl. <laughs> <laughs> So can you imagine she, how she's going to get spoiled? Oh, my goodness. She's not going to get spoiled. She's too sweet to get spoiled. So there. So I'll keep working with it. So cute little Christmas ornament. Okay, to make it bigger, let's just run through it again. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we sent the circle. We're going to go back to that. And, okay, so we're going to go home. Okay. We're going to go to IQ Designer. We're going to find that image, so the pocket with the arrow pointing out. And we're going to find that ornament with the two arcs. And it doesn't even matter what, which one we pick, an old one or a new one. Okay, but maybe I should pick, uh, I'll pay attention to that. So we picked 140. Okay. So first thing we do is go into size. And um, I would like mine, so we did it, 3.75. I am going to change mine. Oh, you see, I keep pressing that button. It's this one right here. But I want to make it bigger. So I have it in a 5x7 hoop. So we were 3.75, and I didn't feel like it was big enough. Let's go 4.75. Melba, I got the iron ready for her. What's that? I think I got the, she, she asked me to get the iron ready for you. Oh, okay. Somebody did? Okay. Oh, Melba was asking? I beat okay. Her, I beat her Melba today. was telling PJ to get the iron ready for me. Okay. So I'm going to go 4.75. Okay. And then, uh, okay. And the first thing, all we need is the circle. So we need to erase it. So you don't have to follow along. You just have to think to yourself, what do I need first? I need to tack down the batting. I need a placement line first. So erase, click here, and erase it. Now see, the 20 is pretty small, isn't it? And I like to see better. So when you go up to 200, oh, that's much better. And then, oh, the size 20 eraser is just right there. 
But you know, oh, I bumped there, so undo and do it again. So maybe I should go start up here. There, I did okay. There. Can you just resize the whole thing in embroidery editing? Yeah. <laughs> but we want to try a different fancy fill. Okay. Yeah, you can. You can, you can just, right? I think we'll try that. But I think definitely you can. Yes. So there. But we kind of want to go back anyhow. Okay. So there. Uh, so first thing, I need to line properties, straight stitch, red, okay, line bucket, click on it to turn it red, then go uh, memory, save on the machine. Next. So what do I need next? So let's take it all. Now they saved it. Lori saved it here. So I'm thinking I should. Maybe the stitching has been assigned. Remember we didn't have to press extra buttons because we already told it red. And so it knew to be straight stitch. So set. Okay. There. Okay. So I've got my uh, placement line. Click on that. Edit copy. Now I've got my tack down for my batting. Move, center. Oh, the other one must not be in center. Select, center. Then press your edit again. Say OK. Press. I need another one. So I've got placement line, tack down for my batting. I need tack down for my fabric. So copy. I need to put it in center. Move, center, and we just moved and centered the other, so we're okay. So now I need to put a fancy fill in, right? So, okay, add IQ designer. I probably should have done it in a different color because I have so many red circles now. So, uh, so we're going to go to the pocket with the arrow pointing out. We're going to find the red circle with the highest number. There's 340, 530, 531. I think I'll go, I'll go 531. Okay. And we could check it by checking the size. There it is at 4.75. So we know we have the right one. Now, okay. So we don't want to sew the straight stitch again. Uh, so we're going to go to line properties, um, no sew, okay, line bucket, click on the line to turn it gray. Now we need to fill it. So fill properties, okay, and we need to open up our, okay, so this one with the, whoop, I'm getting all excited, I can't pick them all up, okay, so there. So I get out my fills and slide them, slide it in. Okay, so now we are going to go to Fancy Fills, select Custom. Now you have to have Upgrade 3 on your Solaris in order to add more fills. So Custom, there's a bunch in there. So I know it's going to tell me that I have to erase some. So let's go and look at that one's holly. So maybe I don't want to erase that one. So I'll click on this one. And no, no, no. I click on the pocket. The pocket with the arrow pointing out. Here is my design suite. Winter Christmas. Fills. Remember, we're doing a fill. And here's the little candy canes. There's holly, there's ornaments. I love the little candy canes. Let's select that one. Candy canes, okay. Status storage is full. Choose a custom pattern to replace it with. The new pattern, okay. So I don't want to do roses. So okay, and then okay again. And there it is. It's still highlighted, so I'm going to say okay then I'll, I'll just keep it at red, then OK, fill bucket, click inside the circle to fill it, next, 
This is where you change the size. And I think because the ornament is so little, I'm going to go down to like 75. So, okay. There. So we could do it red on red. I think we will see. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So look at little candy canes and bows. I think it's adorable. Okay. So now set. Right? Set. We take it all the way to into embroidery. Set. Okay. Now it's not in center. So I have to go edit. Move. Center. Now everything's in center. Okay. Add. Um, IQ designer, we need to add the motif stitches. Okay, so we're, we got it. I should have shown you every one that was on that, uh, all the fill stitches. Well, you got to see all the Christmas. Okay, so we are going to go, we have to find that ornament with the arcs. So pocket with the arrow pointing out. And then I got to find the ornament with the arcs. I'm going to get these erased so we don't go through this anymore. So it should be the highest number. Let's just go, okay, we're all the way at the bottom. So that one is 140, 30. There isn't another one in here, is there? No. So we are going to go here to 140. Okay. Uh oh, look at the size. I don't think, like, let's check it. Size. No, it's too little. So, we need, I don't think I saved it. I bet I didn't. So now we need to go up to size, and we made it 4.75 by 4.75. So you can use your arrows, or you go up to the keyboard, and you go 4.75 set, and 4.75 set. There, okay. Now we don't need the outer circle. So we are going to go to line properties, no so, okay. And then line bucket, click on the circle to turn it gray. It was kind of hard to see. Uh, it went from uh, black to gray. I'm going to click on it again. Is somebody finding did me we, making? Did we resize? We did. We went to yeah. 4.75. Okay, I must have missed yeah. it. Okay. Now I'm going to go to um, Line Properties. Again, Fancy Motif. I've never done this before, so this is my first time. Okay, Select Custom. Okay, and we have, we have, so this is a little holly, right? So little sprigs of holly. What is that one? I don't know. And there's butterflies. So let's go get the holly and okay. And pick a color. And we'll, I'll go with like an orange. You know what? Blue is easier to see. Blue. Okay. Click, uh, go line bucket. Click on the line. Just click on each of them. Okay. Next. Okay, it's really hard to see. It needs to be bigger. So we're going to make it bigger. So I'm going to, I'm just, I'm just guessing I'm at 0.62. Let's look. Oh, I didn't have it linked. But at least we can compare it. Let's zoom in. There's 200. Zoom in to 400. So it definitely is bigger. I think I'd like the holly to be a little bigger. So, so I'm going to go back here, but first I'm going to link them together and then I am going to change the size. So it was at like 0.6. I'm just going to go up a little bigger. Let's go to 0.7. Link them together. Now I can see that it's little holly. Okay. Let's go back to like 200 so we can see the whole thing. Set it. Okay, there they are. Okay, let's zoom in so we can see them. And remember, the candy canes are going to be red on red. So let's go to 200 and let's go to even 400. So it's, it's going to be hard to see here, but as long as I use a contrasting thread color, I think we're going to see that it is 
uh, the holly. Okay, so that's fun. But I, I, you know, just so, so, okay, what do we need next? Let's say we're happy with that. Okay, so we've got our little motif stitches. So we can add the font. We'll do that the same way as in the book. Okay, but how do we get the final circle? So I would just select one of the circles and then go to edit, copy. You're right there. Oh, it's not in the center. Move, center. So there would be your final circle. But let's check it over because we want it. So let's click off the edit. So we've got a circle for the placement line, circle for the batting, circle to sew down the uh, velvet or the fabric, then the fancy fill, then the motif stitches, and then, now we didn't put the lettering in this time, but you could have. And then my final is the circle to sew the back on. So we've got all the steps except for the lettering. So I think we're okay, but I'm dying to look at these other. Okay, so you saw there was a Christmas designs and then, okay, so let's say we want to change that fancy fill. Okay, so I have, okay, so let's say, I don't know, it'll be crazy, but I want to look at what the next ones are because the next ones are for Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, July 4th, and spring. So we're going to open up this case. I dropped the cap. Okay, so let's take out, well, let's just, let's go, just go back to IQ Designer. Okay, IQ Designer, and I want to fill the whole area. So I'm going to go to Fill Properties. Then we're going to go to the Fancy Fills, uh, and then Select. Now I'm going to take this stick out. I got to remember which one it is, so I need to put it back in the case. You should maybe even take a, a marker and mark that it is your fall holidays. Let's take this one. Because we're going to be working with these. And they're custom. The pocket. Design suite baby, baby lock exclusive fills. We want to see Valentine's Day. The fills. So there is hearts. There's little love letters, X's and O's, lots of hearts. Let's just pick. I, I can't pick. I like them all. So this one, okay. Again, it's going to say the data storage is full. So I have to pick something I don't need anymore. But remember, I have it on my sticks. So let's go the pumpkin pie. So the pumpkin pie, okay, okay. So now it's going to put the hearts there. Okay. And then uh, we'll do it in, oh, we'll do it in green. Okay. Fill bucket. Click inside to fill it. So there's all your hearts. So you have hearts and love letters and you have all the other holidays too. I just want to just, I, I could probably keep you here till midnight, but let's go to fill properties again. Select. Custom, so we're in custom, the pocket, design suite, so let's see St. Patrick's Day, fills, and then I've got pots of gold and clover, I have the 17th, I have harps, I have, well this one is pretty here, let's pick that one, okay, okay, oh, it said data storage is full, we're going to take one out, we'll just take flowers out, and okay, now, okay, green is good. We're doing St. Patrick's Day. Okay, fill bucket, click inside to change the fill. So you have all these fun fills to use. Okay, so now we'll sell them stuff. Did mm -hmm. I get you? I Hopefully I didn't get you all mixed up, but I think by following along with your Mastering IQ, so we should have the Mastering IQ Designer book first. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yeah, it's, so you a, it's, have, up, it's right been up there. Yep. Okay, because that it is an excellent book, and we want to encourage all these. So it was like Lori is a baby luck educator, and she contributed to the book, and we want to encourage them to do more because they're the ones that are really knowledgeable. So they they get the best training at baby lock, and they know the machines 
inside and out and they're the ones that will write lessons for all of us so so buy their book <laughs> that's all I'm saying is buy their book mm -hmm. okay now the fills so if anybody didn't get the fall fill this is something you are gonna want I know our fall holidays are over but so it's the one with the pumpkin mm -hmm. okay so that one I would want to have and I would definitely want to have this one it has the candle on the front but this one has the the winter so valentine's day saint patrick's day uh, july 4th and spring mm -hmm. so i bet there's bunnies and all kinds of things in here okay so this one's a really good one now there's another one there is this one is by fabric confetti now she's from arizona oh, wrong one i have the wrong one well, well do you have the i have the um, Design Suite Hobby Zandra Store. Shaw, and that has beautiful flowers. So they will want the Zandra Shaw. It's like no season, but it's it's just got beautiful, beautiful designs. And there it is. There's the picture of it. Okay, so it's this one with the pocket on the front, and it has a lot of motif stitches. So they all have new decorative stitches that we can use in IQ Designer and it has a, a beautiful flowers. Now do we have the, f the fabric confetti one? We'll have to put that one on next week. Yeah. Okay, next week we'll put fabric. But if you just, if you search for confetti, I think it's the only thing in our system by fabric confetti and she has a lot of, um, I know she has owls and flowers and um, lots of neat designs and she also has some Southwest designs. So those of you that uh, winter in Arizona and Texas, you, this, there's a couple designs just for you, right? Okay. Then come up here and come up there. And okay. Press, yeah, you okay. should press this and show off the result because that's cool. Okay, it is. Okay, okay, but I gotta make sure. Well, okay, it is. It's looking really good. It hardly needs pressed. So the iron, I'll just heat it up. Oh, okay. I thought I, I thought I had it heated up. Well, it turns off. It turns off after nine. Yeah. Minutes, I think. So I think it really looks good without me even having to iron it. So just a little pressing. I've got a little thread right here. I think I'll get a pair of snips and snip. Oh, here's my, there, okay. So the new year is gonna bring more and more lessons online and we're gonna have live audiences. <laughs> so it's gonna be really fun. So it's, it's just nice looking into the new year and saying we have so many neat things coming up. Okay, so I'm just going to iron it. You know, one thing that I never get to show is best press. I do really like best press and magic sizing, but uh, we don't sell it because we had them break open during shipping. So there, I think it looks great, don't you? I think mm -hmm. it looks really good, yeah, really, really good. cute. So, and then, and we're using ours. So remember we place ours different. And if you make it a little bigger, then your gift card will fit all the way in. And there we are. What? Avery's first gift card. Yes. That's what I'm gonna go for. <laughs> Avery's <laughs> first gift card. Yes. <laughs> so, so this is so much fun, isn't it? Yes. I mean, and it's easy. And you get really cute results too. So, okay. Now, we have a couple other things you have to get. So here I am, this is my box of bobbins. And my box of bobbins, look at this, danger zone. Like this is, I've gotta get a box on order. So this is 80 bobbins. So when you get it, it will be full. Watch me open it and spill them all to the ground. Okay, so this is a box of 80. Start your new year with peace of mind that you have 80 bobbins. So don't be like this and only have this many because you're not going to get very far. Mm -mm. And here you should always, when you get this low, it's time to order your next 80. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and then... I, I had a they, someone had a question about um, the digital dealer exclusive. 
Yes. Um, Which Cassie. With, from Kimberbell. Yeah. And um, it was, I wanted to, to get the, the 12, 12 month, month, starting with the chap lip holder. Is that... Kathy knows about that. Yeah, we're going to have to ask Kathy. Yeah. Is that the um, house gift box from yeah. 2023? Or is that the... There's a whole... I think it's the pillow. The pillow one for Because that's January. Okay. So I don't... I, we'll, we'll have to ask Kathy. We'll have to write that down, PJ. Okay, I'll write it And down. ask her. Yep. Okay, did you write it down yep. to ask her? Because she, she specifically wants to start with the chapstick holder. So d I got it. I'll okay, leave, you got that. You wrote it things. down. Yep. Okay, okay, good. All right, okay. let's do. How about okay. you? Like that to my have... mouse pad, my handy dandy mouse pad, and you got to have a mouse. So, so you is do. That, is that eight and a half by eight and a half? I think it is. Yeah, yeah eight and a okay, half so by eight and a half. Is. I just like the size because I have so much stuff beside me, and just a bigger one is like it isn't necessary. Just and I went shopping for a mouse pad. I thought I could buy a mouse pad for like three dollars, and they all were ten dollars. And so I thought, well, I would rather have one that I could use. Uh, that's that, and the I was using a wool mat, and it was working perfect. So a wool mat works perfect as a mouse pad, and then you have is it. As a dual duty, you have it. It'll, you can iron with it, and you can use it as a mouse pad. And you know what we do? As we're taking pins out, as we're sewing, we stick our pins in it too. So aren't these the, like the greatest thing ever? These, the they're wonderful. I don't know how we lived without them. Mm-hmm. And the mouse. Oh, and then the mouse. So this mouse does work with the machine. We tried out a whole bunch of different ones, and this one, is it works perfectly with your machine. So, and it, it's, it's inexpensive too, so. So the duck bill, you had the larger one. Yeah, and, and I, for a little thing like the ornament, I mean the, the larger one, the six inch did work, but I do like the small, and we just didn't have time to run down and get yeah. one. Yeah. So, so these are six inch. This is six inch, and the I think the duck bill that uh, PJ has in the window are the four and a half inch. Mm -hmm. So I really like having both. So if I'm doing a little project like this in a small hoop, these are too big. So I do like the what he has in the bubble right now. But then I like to have I like to have the six inch too. So once you start trimming away batting in the hoop, you'll see you need the, the that duck bill holds, holds that bottom layer away and holds the batting away. So you're like, if you try to use squeezy snips to trim your batting, they just jab, get stuck in the batting. Now this is the embroidery batting. So this one is my favorite size. This is the 12 inch by 10 yards, just cause it fits in your biggest hoop just perfect when I go in this direction. So I do like having this one, but if I wanna make, um, so if I'm doing things that I'm gonna need to trim away, this is just perfect for the big hoop. And and then the next size is, and I'll wait for PJ to get that one in the window. So remember the embroidery batting has the scrim. So I guess I could put these over here. Next size is 16, right? Yeah, so the next size, I do like the 16. So like if you're doing pillows, 14 inch pillows, this is nice to have 16 inch pillows. So the 16 inch by 10 yards. This is another item. It's just really, really nice batting. I always feel like they shouldn't have named the company Gypsy because their things are really good quality and you kind of don't, you don't relate Gypsy with quality, do you? I don't know. I don't know. Gypsy is like a very you know, yeah. niche. Like a traveler. You, you, it's a rarity. Yeah, so maybe. maybe that's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Can I tell them my experience with gypsies? <laughs> Did I ever tell you my experience with gypsies? No. Okay. Okay. I'll just tell it real quick. Okay. So, you know, being a retail store owner forever. Okay. So it was, it was, it didn't happen to me. It happened to my mother-in-law and it, it kind of was the last straw in her career. Cause, okay. So she had an art gallery 
And these people came in, and she remembers, you know, they were kind of scruffy dressed and stuff, but they were very interested in art. And she walked them around the whole store. They had uh, two kids with them, walked them around the store, and they were just so interested in every single piece of art, just everything, everything. And then all of a sudden, one of the little kids starts screaming and crying, screaming, crying. And, and Jerry, like, went and tried to console the kid, tried to, you know, we they tried to figure out what happened. She thought... Maybe there was a sliver of glass or something they didn't know. Commotion, commotion. Oh, all of a sudden they left with 15 pieces of artwork. And the, so, of course, she called the police. Did I tell you about this, BJ? No. Yes. So um, she called the police. Oh, wait. I think I remember. Yeah. yeah. She called the police, and the police said her. what the gypsies do is they, they, it, they, they said they jab them with a pin. And I thought that was a figure of speech. I thought that they taught the child how to cry like they were being jabbed with a pin. And the police officers, no, they really jabbed the kid with a pin to cause the commotion. And they, but, and, That's and I terrible. have, well, it is terrible. Yeah, it is to think about what this poor child goes through. Yeah. yeah. And wouldn't you know the artwork? So, um, uh, she, uh, had artwork that the Rooney family who owned the Steelers had brought to her to have framed and that's what the gypsy stole so she was devastated remember my gypsy story Janine remember when Jerry yes and so um, she she was devastated she was shaken yeah. up she just thought what are they gonna do it was original pieces of artwork yeah they didn't do a thing to her Nothing. They were really kind to her about it. Yeah. Hmm. So, but it still shook her so up so much. That's when she decided to retire. I get it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Just one side. Uh huh. Take the lasagna home. Oh yeah. Everybody wants me to again. take. Yes. Because there's enough for your family for dinner. <laughs> oh good. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I get to take that the lasagna that Val Ackerlo brought us lunch. Can you believe how nice? Okay. So. So we can stop here. Peter. We can stop here. Somebody asked you about pinking shears. Do you have any of those? Yeah, because the Fomore. Yeah. Yeah. So look Fomore um, and put those in. Yeah, they're in They're now, really nice. I have yeah. zero, but I think we have. Oh, we, we do. Got, it. Yeah. Yeah. We just got a shipment of them okay. in. Okay. So. Yeah. I love Fomore. Remember we used to love Ginger, but now they, we don't, I don't know. They just, the, the Fomore is the brand we like now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Kai, we love Kai. And then and then there's the new ones too, so yes. But the Fomore, I seem to, you know, we just we just seem to grab for those more often, so, and the Kai. Mm -hmm. So, all right, everyone, have a great Christmas. We Joni and I will be on tomorrow. We wanna show a way to make a chain on the serger to use as, to hang ornaments. I think that would be perfect. Okay, so we're going to show that tomorrow and show you some really good deals they have on sergers right now. So we will see you at one tomorrow. But otherwise, if you don't, you got to tune in because you got to see your present. Um, but if you don't tune in, have a Merry Christmas and we will see you. We are going to be closed. We decided uh, so uh, we're. We definitely are closed on Monday for Christmas Day, but we're going to be closed on Tuesday, too. And I tell you what, our employees are really looking forward to that. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. So we will see you um, after, like, tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow with Joni, and then we will see you next Wednesday. But I'll keep reminding you, and I'll send out an email, too. So, all right. Thank you, everyone, so much. Uh, we really appreciate everything you do for us, so thank you. It was a wonderful year for us. I mean, we still have a whole other week to go, but we are really looking forward to the future, too. So thank you all so much. Bye-bye.